Hi, this is Karen from Ongoing Warehouse. In this video, we're going to talk about integrations on a broader perspective, look at different ways an integration can be set up and what an integration might contain. In this video, we'll consider integrations between your customers' systems and your ongoing VMS. If you're looking for technical documentation, I recommend you take a look at our developer page, developer.ongoingwarehouse.com. An integration enables two systems to communicate. For example, an order from a web shop can automatically be transferred to ongoing VMS. For you as a 3PL provider, it might be important to offer your customers a way to connect to your VMS to transfer article registers in orders and orders automatically. If you want to set up an integration to ongoing, start with considering three questions, who, what and when. Integrations to ongoing are either done towards our API by an external developer or by using one of our standard integrations developed by us. Whoever builds the integration will be managing the setup and the maintenance. We offer the possibility to connect other systems to ongoing through our API. This means that any developer can build the integration to connect your customer system to your VMS. Our API is documented on our developer page, where you also find some code examples. To be able to access data in your system, the developer will need some API keys from ongoing. Apart from setting up the API keys, the rest of the setup is done by the IT partner you choose for the project. Ongoing has developed a few standard integrations to commonly used web shop platforms and some Scandinavian ERP systems. Those integrations has a standard setup and is easy to get started with. Settings allow some customization, but if you need a more tailored integration than the settings provide, you should find an external developer to set up the integration towards our API. You find the documentation of the standard integration, what they contain and how they can be customized on the help page in your ongoing system. Note that using one of the integrations are not part of your monthly fee and the setup, troubleshooting and maintenance of the integrations are charged by the hourly rate specified in your contract with ongoing. If you're using one of our standard integrations, download the documentation for that specific integration from the help page and go through it with your customer. If an integration is built by an external developer, you have to determine what information should be sent to ongoing. The information is sent in different messages, for example, one for sending article register and another for sending orders or in orders. Each message contains a set of information, such as the article name and the article number. Start with deciding what messages should be sent. A common setup for integration between ongoing and an ERP system is to send the article register, orders and in orders from the external system and report back from ongoing to the ERP system when inbound or outbound delivery has taken place and send the current stock value. This setup results in six messages. Depending on what system you're integrating, the messages that will be included in the integration might vary. For example, in orders are seldomly used in integrations to a web shop, but are common in integrations to ERP systems. Also consider if you have any special processes that has to be handled in the integration, such as return orders or partial deliveries. The next step is to consider what data each message should contain. Some data are required for technical reasons, but most data will have to be transferred for your own business needs. Take the article register for example. Ongoing only requires a unique article number to create an article but there will surely be more information required. Consider what information you need for your processes in the warehouse. You might want to see the article name since it's easier to remember than the article number. If you're using scanning, you will need barcodes. If you want to generate performance, you will need custom information such as country of origin, statistic number and weight. Go through all the reports you want to generate from ongoing. Maybe you want to show the article description on the delivery note and all the information that you will need to forward along the supply chain, for example, when you're booking the transportations. It's a good idea to write down what information you want to transfer per message. On our developer page, you can find an overview of all possible messages and what they can contain. We can help you to specify what information goes where, but it's important that you as a super user understands 
what information will be included in the integration and how this information is used in your working processes and forwarded to other systems. Data is normally sent through the integration either when an action is performed in the system, for example, pressing a button or scheduled. If a developer builds an integration from a web shop to ongoing, orders might be sent over to ongoing when they are placed in the web shop. When we build integration to a web shop, we will not know when the customer pressed the order button. Instead, we will fetch all new orders every 10th minute or so. It's important that you as a super user understands when data is transferred and what triggers the transfer, regardless if you are using a standard integration or a new one built towards our API. This makes it easier for you to do some troubleshooting yourself. I hope this video has given you some basic understanding of the possibilities to integrate to ongoing. If you have any further questions, please contact us or have a look at our developer page.